Hi there, Vinyl community. I'm going to uh, hang on in with the um, ECM thread at the moment. So uh, I'm going to show you my albums and uh, CDs. I might go to a, a, um, a second video because uh, I only seem to have about 10 minutes at a time. So, uh, uh, as I mentioned in a previous video, it was uh, a Radio 3 or BBC Radio 3 DJ or radio announcer, um, Derek Jewell, who um, introduced me to um, uh, Oregon. And I remember listening to one of his programs where um, I was watching out of uh, uh, the window at the, um, in the garden. It was uh, early spring. It was quite dull and overcast, not like today, which is quite sunny. And uh, there was a single daffodil that was uh, being blown around about by the wind, and it was reflecting in uh, the pool in the garden. And the music I was listening to, Oregon, um, suited this uh, uh, mood exactly. And it's it's strange that on a on a later CD which I have here. Um, there's a track called Impending Bloom. Why isn't that focusing? Impending Bloom, anyway. Uh, there's, there, there's some um, mention about um, Oregon. Um, only, uh, yes, it was mentioned by um, uh, Dr. Deadwax, Mark mentioned that uh, um, Oregon only actually made two albums on the ECM label, but uh, all the individual members of the, of the group made um, contributions and solos and uh, um, and trios and such uh, um, with um, with other musicians. So there is that uh, much wider association with the, the ECM label and Oregon. Uh, anyway, I'll quickly show you the um, albums that I have. It's the first album, which I was lucky to discover in the back of a box in a crate recently. And uh, the first album that um, of music I heard was from um, Derek Jewell, and he played um, several tracks on the radio show uh, from another present era and he played uh, tracks like uh, North Star, uh, Shard, um, Silence of a Candle, that's a special one, uh, The Swan and, and Touchstone. I discovered somewhere, I don't know where, I can't remember, that the uh, Oregon in concert and this has a a really special version of uh, um, the silence of a candle. Yeah, and recently picked up this uh, out of the woods. I had this on uh, CD originally, but uh, really nice to have this um, gatefold copy. And the other album is uh, Moon and Mind. And the solo um, albums on ECM. Oh yes, they, they're not all on ECM, so this will be a ECM and Oregon video. So, Half Towner, Solstice. And my absolute favourite track on this is uh, Nimbus. Should give that a listen. Halfway through now, so uh, John Abercrombie and Ralph Towner. John Abercrombie, Dave Jonette, or Jack <laughs> Jonette, and Dave Holland. I'll just leave. Uh, put the. Uh, album covers there and you can read them for yourself. And you, you'll know who, who's playing on what anyway. Skylight. 
the former Kanglis, uh, Art Lander, uh, Dave, uh, David Samuels. Tom uh, van der Geld, Path. Mark Isham and Art Lander, we begin. And I recently picked this one up, and it was strange because uh, Big Star 1000 and um, and uh, Chris um, uh, Chris Basket uh, <laughs> um, picked this up while they were looking through. Uh, 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 the shop in uh, in Switzerland. I was eager to, for them to get to the uh, ECM section. So, really pleased to pick this copy of uh, Return to Forever up. And he paid two euro for it. Most of them are quite um, reasonably priced. Um, uh, four euro for this, but. Uh, Then uh, this is a favourite as well, Keith Jarrett. Double album. <laughs> Get this in. And what album, what ECM collection isn't uh, complete without the the Corn concert? This is a recent pickup. It's uh, Keith Jarrett with Jack Dijonet. I've given this a, a, a listen. It w wasn't um, so impressive at first listening, but uh, I should give it another listen or two before I make a further judgment. So, and we have Erhard Weber, Silent Feet. I think I paid maybe 12 euros for these. This one as well, 12 euro each. Okay, I'll keep this as uh, short as I can. And I'm going to go to the CD in the next video. Cheers for now.